This is Kiruna, 200 kilometers above the Arctic Circle and Sweden's most northern city. It looks like space, man. For man. Only few Swedes have been this far north. We sure haven't. We're from the south. From mid-December and almost a month ahead, the sun never rises. This is lunchtime. That's me, Henrik. I'm a videographer. This is great, man. That is my producer, Yuwan. We came here to find out why you'd want to move a city and how the f it's done. This is Johanna, one of the 18,000 residents. Hey. <laughs> this is her father, Janne. Tjenare. <laughs> this is her grandfather. And this is her grandfather's uncle. This is their family store. <laughs> Lite till. <laughs> det här är um, min och pappas butik. Eh, jag är fjärde generation. I det här huset har vi funnits sedan 1933. Jag var blir det då? Några år. <laughs> Stan kommer ju att flyttas och då ska vi följa med tänkte vi. Vi ska flytta med butiken. Kiruna is also the home of a great mine. Distant but always present, it has been the watchful eye and foundation of the city for more than a century. The process started in 2004 when LKB informed that uh, we needed to move if they should be able to continue mining. The mine has always worked in symbiosis with Kiruna and the mine is the reason that Kiruna is placed where it is. It was never an option to close the mine. This is our equivalent to a bike and we use it in winter time. It's called a spark. Niklas, is it true that Kiruna is the largest municipality in the world area-wise? We were actually the largest in the world, but then uh, two uh, municipalities in Australia merged to create one. So with a bit of cheating, the Australians beat us, but we're number two. We decided to go for a drive in the land of Volvo to check out this huge municipality. Kiruna municipality, it's so big, it has such low population that you can fit the entire world's population in it. If you would pack everyone together, everyone would have a room for a bed and a corner to sit in. <laughs> so Johanna and their father are preparing to move the family store as is every other store in the current city center. In fact, they cannot stay much longer or the store just might fall 2,000 meters down into the abyss. Abyss? Now here's the thing. Extracting iron ore makes the city deform and the city has to move three kilometers east. A few selected buildings will be moved. The rest will be demolished and rebuilt. The mines dug underneath the city, so it might all fall into the ground if they don't do it. I just want to know how. While being shown around the mine by El Coabia, we got stuck up on the freezing top of the Iron Ore Mountain. That's great shoes you got there. <laughs> Thanks, man. Not like mine. Nah, no, that's a little bit of action. That's all you need, right? My hat's falling off. Iron ore is the most widely used metal in the world. Refined into steel, it's the framework and skeleton for stadiums, cars, skyscrapers, and agri-motors like this one. The state-owned El Coabe is the company that runs the mine and pays for the move of the city center, the world's largest urban relocation. The moving of the city, it has started, but it will continue about 20, 30 years forward in time. When El Coabe extracts iron ore, it affects the surface. Every time a bucket full of ore is removed from the mine, some of the waste rock above falls and the surface subsides. This is known as ground deformation and is why the city center of Kirana has to move. This is the purest iron ore in the world. Ironically, to get the really, really pure stuff, you have to go all the way down to the bottom. Kiruna was founded as a city back in the year 1900 by El Coabe's managing director, Jalmar Lundbom. Nowadays, El Coabe is one of Sweden's biggest taxpayers and holds 90% of the iron ore market in the EU. While deposits from other mining companies may be at 30 to 40%, the purity of the Kiruna iron is at 65 to 70%. Worth moving a city for. What the f What was that? We woke up in the middle of the night. At breakfast, we talked to the great chef to find out what was going on. It's always after 12 o'clock, they are blowing in the mine. Do you 
do you yourself still wake up to? No way. <laughs> I'm used to it. I lived here all my life. I'm 45 years. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Every night. Yeah. Every yes. <laughs> I don't mind at all. I don't hear it. Inga grejer. Kommunen säger 2019. Eh, då säger vi 2020 och LKB säger 2021. Så någonstans där. <laughs> Den här skylten är... Eh, det är det här folk känner till. Liksom. De kanske inte vet vad vi står för, men de vet att liksom, centrumhuset det är, det är det här. Så att, eh, den måste ju med. Den ska sitta på en hörna i nya centrum för att den är anpassad för det och det är där den ska vara. Utan det blir det inget nytt centrum. Nej. When facing one of the biggest urban transformations of our time, there's a lot of things to think about. White has been hired to link it all together. Shall we head to the church? See the girl with the diamond ring? She knows how to shit that thing. All right, no, no. Here we are at the Kirina Church. And it was voted as um, Sweden's most beautiful building in 2001 by the people of Sweden. So they love their church. And I love the church. Hi! <laughs> One, three! Oh, right. The church is one of the few buildings that are actually going to be lifted from the ground and moved on trucks or cranes to the new city center. So our biggest challenge that's facing us is not the design of a new city which is sustainable and attractive and modern. The biggest challenge is to move the minds of the people and to move the culture. Every decision we take as architects has a future life attached to it for a uh, you know, hundred years forward. This is what it's all about. Iron ore, purest in the world. Worth moving whole city for. Looks a bit like deer poo. Yeah, it does. This is how the move works. Elko Abe buys your home for market price plus 25%. Or they give you a new home in a new part of town. Här bodde jag tidigare. 2013 sålde vi det. Jag har bott här större delen av mitt liv. Then your home and neighborhood is demolished. Johanna's new home is located at a safe distance from the mine. <laughs> at least with today's forecast. Här någonstans är en liten spark. <laughs> Delen som vi fick av LKAB vi gjorde att vi hade möjligheten att kunna köpa det här huset. För innan det så hade det inte gått. Det är ganska mycket snö. Är det här i fika? Ja, ja, vi bygger vi vacker här. Och <laughs> vi har faktiskt pratat om att vi ska göra det. Nu när solen börjar komma fram. Hur ska jag förklara en bivack? En typ... Eh, eh, du skottar dig en grop. Even these are Volvos. Behind us is the new city center. Seems pretty random still at this point. Just pick a location, but at least it's at a safe distance from the mine and the sinkholes, supposedly. This is where it's all gonna be. Johannes and Janne's store, centrum, meaning center, the old church, the old clock tower, and the new city hall, which you can already see the foundation to. This is the city I'm born and raised in. And it's really important for me that the surroundings will like be as much the same as it is today, even better. I stan vi lever i nu så är vi eh, ganska ensamma på var sin kant. Liksom. Vi har inte det här naturliga flödet att man går rakt över gatan in i nästa butik. På det sättet så tror jag att det blir mycket bättre i nya stan. Nej, jag ser fram emot det här riktigt mycket. I'm not sure what it is about the weather that I love so much. I love the midnight sun, and I love the darkness of winter, and I love the snow. I just love the snow. I love sculpting and designing and creating in snow. It's my favorite medium to work with as an architect. It's pure form. It doesn't work. Like a good piece of music. <laughs> or a good meal, you know. Or a good piece of city. <laughs> a good city, it doesn't last. Yeah. <laughs> That was easy. This is Henrik and Johan reporting for Sweden.se. Thank you for watching.